I don't have very much gameplay on hand, so enjoy this very chaotic full painter match that I took part in the other day. So, Identity 5 made the right choice, and I was wrong yet again. Granted, I'm incredibly thankful to have been wrong, but let this be a lesson to maybe not take everything I say as true going forward. I get all of my information secondhand, and the reason I don't usually make update videos outside of the crossovers I'm interested in is mostly because I don't want to peddle misinformation. Granted, if you guys would be interested in me potentially covering patch notes and such after they're already out, and maybe not every week due to my inconsistent posting schedule, I'd consider, so let me know, because I'm always looking for more content to make. That aside, sorry that this video is a little late. I am a full-time college student at the moment, and sometimes, well, let's just say my professors only post assignments two hours before they are due on the same night that some massive Identity 5 information comes out. As it stands, it seems like everything in this crossover is lining up to be the predictions that I made in my video prior, only with the character swap that I desperately wanted. So recapping, since the script is obviously leaning towards people have been keeping up with my Bungo Stray Dogs crossover videos, sorry about that. NetEase has given us confirmation now, upon writing this script and recording this video, that Atsushi will be mercenary and Dazai will be prisoner. For those of you who don't know much about the series and only watch my videos about it, consider this to be a very, 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 very big win. I am so happy about this. Presumably, Rampa will still be painter, Yosuno will still be doctor, and Kunikita will, of course, still be novelist. Though these three have not been fully confirmed, at least at the time of recording, knowing my luck they'll release another poster the moment I finish this, it's almost a guarantee given the mix of various leaks, plain common sense, and this little thing I forgot to mention in my last video because I didn't notice it until later. The silhouettes of the characters are literally on the announcement poster, I'm so dumb for not noticing it sooner. So all this to say as a quick update, I'm very happy about this information. Another interesting thing to note is that both Atsushi and Dazai will be S-tiers, which I hadn't suspected at all. I thought it would be one or the other, but this doesn't surprise me at all in hindsight. As far as I understand, Dazai will be a limited shop skin, purchasable for Echoes only. While Atsushi will be the time-limited Essence S-tier, premiering in the second Essence of this brand new season, starting today at the time of recording, Wednesday which should unlock roughly on October 12th or 13th, depending on your time zone. While this sucks for people who cannot spend money on the game, I'm personally pretty happy with it since it means way less gambling for me and anyone else who wanted to drop a few bucks on their favorites. So to all my Atsushi likers, however, Godspeed my friends, good luck. All this to say, it's likely that the remaining three characters will be announced soon, probably while I'm recording and editing this, and are likely to all be Essence A tiers rather than any of them being obtainable through events, which is sort of disappointing for free-to-play users, but it makes sense if Dazai is going to be placed in the shop. This of course is just my assumption, but if you can't or won't spend money on the game, just take solace in the fact that the Essence will be on the logic path, because otherwise it seems NetEase has once again prioritized money over their player base. Like I said in my last video, I guess we can't fault them for it, but it's still a bit unfortunate for anyone who can't spend money or isn't as desperate to get the skins but still wants them. In either case, I wish everyone luck on their polls when the crossover comes around, as well as on this first Essence of this new season. The Witch skins look gorgeous, I'm hoping to get sculptors, and I may make a sculptor video if I get it. So please let me know in the comments uh, if you guys get anything good in that, or just overall, you know, what upcoming content you're looking to get. I myself am, like I said, really hopeful to pull sculptor skin as well as Rompo in the crossover, and I've been practicing painter again, much to the dismay of my teammates. Now, I know this video has more so been a jumble of mini rambles, and I also started it as if you know, everyone's been following my series, so I'm sorry to anyone who clicked on this as their first video and was thoroughly confused. But I also want to ask my community a quick question or two, as well as ask all of you a favor. So we're kind of close to hitting 500 subscribers, and I mentioned all the way back in my Wax Artist video, go watch that by the way, I'm, I'm proud of that one, that uh, this was my current goal. I am so thankful for the support and how engaging and kind everyone has been in my community and I love speaking with you all in the comments. I see the reoccurring accounts and faces and you're all so sweet. Thank you so much for the support. There was someone 
who is just starting out, who left a really sweet comment on my wax artist video with a lot of good tips. Uh, shout out to them. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show their user here. And they had some really good tips, so definitely go check that out. A lot of people have been really engaging with the crossover stuff, really um, friendly banter back and forth about what we think, who's gonna be who, and stuff. So I wanna ask you all some things. What I really want to know is, what kind of content would you all like to see from me going forward in order to grow my community and this channel? Unfortunately, due to my anxiety and admittedly easy irritation with this game at some times, I just can't do live streams. This, paired with the fact that I'm by no means a good Identity 5 player, makes gameplay videos difficult outside of my Trying X character for the first time series, and just casual gameplay with my lackluster commentary as the main draw. Uh, so would you all still be interested in simple, probably heavily faulted gameplay videos? And would you want them to have commentary? Or is that a thing potentially turning people off from my videos? I really don't know. Uh, along those same lines, would general content update videos, also possibly misinformed, be something my community is interested in? Or lore videos at that? Like I mentioned before, I'd be willing to react to patch notes and go over them, or talk about new developments in the lore, though it wouldn't be on a consistent schedule as it stands. I've also just considered doing some skits and posting more general edited and funny short clips. Oh, and we can't forget my idea to possibly do a skin stereotype video. Not that I'm the first one to do that, I can't claim credit to that idea. And maybe this is a bit weird, but since I'm not comfortable showing my face, I've also considered possibly becoming a PNG YouTuber as well to more easily put a face to my channel. So if anyone has thoughts on that, please let me know, I'd love to hear them. This has become a bit of an info dump, so tying back to Bungo Stray Dogs for a second. Since I'm resting on all of the crossover cast outside of Prisoner, I also thought of potentially doing a very chill series similar to my Trying X character one, where I practice each character leading up to the crossover and just talk over the gameplay. But I mean, hell, I already sort of did that for Mercenary, so would anyone even be interested in that? I'd probably want to make a follow-up skin showcase for any of them that I get skins for as well. But all in all, if you can't tell, I'm not really sure what you guys would like to see. Most people found me through my first video, and it's awesome to have such a big hit, but I'm serious about trying to keep up an actual channel and not just have a single one-hit video. So please consider subscribing to me if you like my content, or hey, even if you dislike it, I'm just trying to get to 500, so anything helps. I'll definitely record my Bungo Stray Dogs polls, so that'll be something to look out for. And uh, maybe I'll eventually I'll finish that Dream Witch video. Until then, thanks for putting up with my rambles on a Bungo Stray Dogs video yet again, because I always make them about me. And I wish everyone pulling on Bungo Stray Dogs the absolute best. Anyways, see you in the next one.